going to do a video on my skincare routine and this skincare routine is my morning skincare routine and I already have a video on my night one so you can go check it out and I'll link it down below so yeah I'm just gonna get right into it and actually I it's already in the afternoon but and I went out in the morning just now and of course when I went out just now I did wash my face and stuff but it was kind of rushed so I didn't really apply lots of things so I mean I didn't really do my usual skincare routine so now I'm just gonna complete it so the first thing that you uh, that I usually do is that I pin up my hair and then yeah I usually have um, this kind of um, headband or something so yeah and then now I'm just gonna like push it up and uh, push my hair behind my ears so it's easier okay in the morning right usually I will use um, this cleanser from Shiseido and then it's uh, called the Ibuki cleanser I've been using this if you actually kind of follow me this is a really good cleanser and it really um, goes deep into your pores and afterwards I feel that it's really literally squeaky clean like after when I um, wipe my face or, or when I touch my face it gets that really squeaky kind of feeling Yep, so this is um, something that I would really recommend. And I did wash my face in the morning with that. So, um, on lazy days, I use another product and this is the Garnier Micellar Water. And you can't find this in Singapore, sadly. So I got one of my friend to get me from overseas. So yeah, but you can find them on Carousel because some people, they do bring it in and then they do like pre-orders and stuff. This is when you do it on lazy days. Uh, it removes makeup and stuff and uh, in the morning I did put a little concealer so yeah I'm just gonna go through my eyes and then my nose so what you want to do is to just slowly work it to your skin and then yeah I, I told you I put like some concealer in the morning yeah just now so you can see it removes the foundation and the con or your concealer and then yeah uh, this is only when you are lazy. I don't really recommend just washing your face with um, micellar water but it does remove your makeup and for Garnier's one it does not involve like rinsing so yeah it's good as well so just work your way through everything and then yeah I just did like some of my brows as well for this um, micellar cleansing water it's really very good and I think I got it like in Australia. My friend got it for me in Australia and it's like 12 USD for 400 uh, 12 SGD for 400 milliliters. So it's really very good and then it's so big. So after I'm done with like cleansing my face, okay, and then I go on to put the toner. Okay, for toner, I use the Neutrogena's alcohol free toner and Mm, I've been using this and I think that it's relatively okay. I wouldn't have like a strong recommendation or any any particular toner that you should watch out for and stuff. And yeah, I don't really recommend you getting very expensive ones as well because I do use expensive one last time and I feel that um they are not really very special. I mean, it's just a toner, just you know, closes your pores. And yeah, it's really important to put toner. It acts like sort of a base, like sort of to cover your skin. So yeah, it's relatively important. Just what your way do as well. Oh yeah, toner you can put it like in the day and night after you would cleanse your face. Yeah, and I wouldn't really recommend you getting really expensive ones as what I've said because it's all the same. And I just use this and I find that it's not bad. You can get this, get like some toners from lots of drugstores, different kinds of drugstores. So after the toner, I use this Henri Dinoff serum. Uh, Henri Dinoff is the brand from like, I think the US. And then I just got mine from like Isetan departmental stores. So I just put it a little on my hands. And this is actually a hyaluronic acid and for hyaluronic acid, it boosts the water content of your face and it stays really moist throughout the day. As what I've said earlier in my previous video, um, if you put like 
if your skin is too dry, it will kind of um, produce more oil in order to make it moist and not drying. So it's very important to keep your face moist. Remember to always cleanse your face and then put the toner and stuff. And then if you can, use some products which boost the water content of your face. So yeah, that's really important. And the last serum that I'm using is this soothing essential solution from um, D-Skin. Yeah, and um, for this, I got it in my facial shop. So... I mean, it is from this brand called D Skin, so you can always find them like everywhere. Yeah, so I just put my way through, and for this, it's really good for um sensitive skin because, as you can see, when I start to rub in like stuff on my face, it gets really red, especially on areas here, here, and here. So yeah, it's really important. This really helps to boost the immunity of my skin as well. Like I do not have many blemishes after using this. Yep. So I really recommend this. It's not really very it's not cheap to be honest. It's like about ninety eight for this small bottle. It's like only thirty ml. But yeah serums are usually like this. So I just I just walk my way through my skin. Okay. And after I'm done with this, okay. Um, it's a really simple routine, so after toner and then I add my serum and of course the last step is to add like moisturizer and um, I do use a moisturizer, I use a tinted moisturizer with um, SPF and it's like SPF 15 and it's by Shiseido, the Ibuki range. I've been loving this Ibuki range for a very very long time and yeah sometimes I'll use this sunblock and then yeah I feel that SPF on the skin is really very important, you will really really need to find like um and as you really need to put an SPF product on your face to protect you from the UV rays and then yeah it won't cause freckles and it won't cause wrinkles as but in the long run I'm like probably quite young for to think about all this but trust me you if you start now you won't regret it later and then buying all the anti-aging products when you're like super young so yeah just maintain your skin right now Another alternative is that I don't add the moisturizer actually. I just use either the BB cream or foundation. Like I just immediately put it on because they do have SPF as well and they keep the UV rays off my skin. Yeah, so um, today I'll be using <coughs> the BB cream from Opto. And this one I got it in Korea. I one outlet in, Korea, uh, in Singapore right now and it's at um, Bukis Junction. So you can go check out their products. So what you're going to do now is to just um, rub everything in. I use a brush to rub it in because um, it kind of seeps more into my skin and it blends even better. Yeah, it blends well and then after my skin will absorb it more. And then I'll get a really good effect instead of rubbing in my fingers because some of them I kind of will stay on my fingers and I feel really annoyed when that happens. So yeah, just slowly work your way through and then... Oh yeah, just avoid your under eyes. Um, usually when you put foundation or BB cream, try to avoid your under eyes because it gets really dry and then your under eyes are really sensitive parts of the skin. This is my usual skincare routine and it, it doesn't involve any makeup at all. Like now I'm just... I'm just balanced. Yeah. And I will do like a makeup video soon. Remember to take care of your face as well. Okay. So I'll see you guys soon.